suggest a witch hunt by cops to trap Michael Jackson. Believe me when I tell you that nothing ever happened with Michael. Could the shocking 1993 interview boomerang against prosecutors in Jackson's child molestation case? Herbert. First up, more of our exclusive Corey Feldman police tape. Do the 1993 reporting suggest cops were on a witch hunt to trap Michael Jackson since his first case? Stable as Mitchell says, the case could show the King of Pop is the victim of a hidden agenda. Is your belief in him and your love for him getting in the way of you telling us anything? Everything I've told you is true and... I mean, nothing happened. Corey Feldman in 1993, grilled by Santa Barbara Sheriff Sergeant Deborah Linden and a detective about the actor's close friendship with Michael Jackson. Sometimes the two had even dressed alike. But on the tape, obtained exclusively by CJ, Corey insists over and over the friendship was totally innocent. While the cops repeatedly expressed suspicion for more than an hour. I'm so concerned that if something happened, you're not going to tell us because it would be so hard to tell us if you tried if something happened. No. They want to hear what they want to hear, not what the witness wants to say. Noted, Beverly Hills criminal defense attorney Jay Jaffe says the actor who gained fame in Stand By Me and The Goonies certainly sounds believable on the tape. You don't know how many times I have racked my brain and gone... Is there something I'm forgetting? Is there something, you know, that I'm thinking, you know, didn't happen, but it really did? And if I could find something, I would love to be able to tell you. But nothing happened. Jaffe says while the investigators on the tape did not break the law, Jackson's defense team could use the cops' repeated aggressive questioning of the actor to bolster their claim that D.A. Tom Sneddon's long been on a witch hunt. I think that the defense would try to show that the investigators in this case are in fact not objective in their fact-finding process. What they have is an agenda, and they're looking for something against Michael Jackson, even in the face of a claim that nothing really Existed. Sergeant Linden, who does most of the questioning, is reportedly the same investigator who wrote the 1993 affidavit to get court approval to photograph Michael Jackson's private parts, an experience he calls a dehumanizing and humiliating examination by the Santa Barbara County Sheriff. The big question, will Jackson's team now try to use Corey's 93 interview in the current case? Everybody's happy. Now in his mid-thirties, Corey recently starred on The Surreal Life and is now a family man with a wife and young child. Corey's rep confirmed he has been subpoenaed by authorities to testify in Jackson's current molestation case. Reports are Corey may now say there were things in their relationship that were inappropriate and wrong. But if the judge allows Corey to take the stand, he may also allow in his 93 interview. The defense should introduce the tape to impeach Corey Feldman when he said nothing ever happened, and he said that repeatedly. Reports are Corey will not accuse Jackson of molestation.